Hello everyone, I greet you in the name of God Almighty. My name is Apostle Newton Silas and I have a very interesting video to react to and he says that a Christian pastor talking about modesty hijab from the Bible. I believe that this is going to be a very um, interesting um, video. Let's watch this and then learn from it and God is going to bless us as and also our family you will be able to help us to be able to grow in his path and be guided by him so guys if today happens to be the first time of you checking out my channel don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on my facebook and instagram and if you have any video you want me to react to don't forget to drop it at the comment section and i'm going to check it out so guys before we get on to the video i'm a theologian and i need this video not to discredit anyone's religion thought and opinion this is just basically for educational purposes and i believe that at the end of this video we all are going to learn from this so let's get down to this video and check out these teachings by the past like manner also bible talking in like manner also that women that who women that women adorn themselves adorn themselves in modest apparel in modest apparel with shamefacedness shamefacedness and sobriety what 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 else not with broided listen, hair listen listen good not, not with, with broided hair broided hair hair decoration or or gold gold or pearls or pearls or costly array now many of you have wrote me and said Makeup is not in the Bible. This is what you church folk look like. One of your brothers get that side for me, will you please? Quickly, please. Come on, brother. Set that over there. Set that over there. Two of you brothers uncover this one. Two of you brothers uncover this one, please. Take your time. Uh -uh. Take your time. Take your time. I don't want you. Take your time. Pick that up down there. That's why you didn't take your time. You took the Christian wig off. Put it on. Now, you Christians, you have so-called Christian celebrities that look like this. You have some first lady in churches, pastor wives, you look like this. You let your children look like this. You let many of the mothers in the church look like this. You go to so-called Christian concerts and the women look like this. The Bible says, in like manner also, in like manner also that women Adorn themselves in modest apparel. What is so modest about this? What is so modest about this? There was some women wrote me when they heard me preach against it and said, my pastor don't say nothing. I most certainly know he don't. Your pastor want to see this. Yeah. Your pastor want to see this because your pastor wants to go here. Yeah. Am I right, I said? Talk to me. Give me Jeremiah. Yes. Chapter 4. Chapter 4. Now, for you that says makeup is not in the Bible, give me Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 4. The fourth chapter. And at verse 30. Follow me in the Bible and verse 30. Oh, this is good. Come on. Jeremiah chapter 4 and verse 30. Yes. And when thou art spoiled, what wilt thou do? You see, when you spoiled in these churches, you can look like this. Because the preacher preacher gets no sin. T.D. Jakes ain't gonna say nothing about this. Creflo Dollar ain't gonna say nothing about this. 
Joel Austin ain't gonna say nothing about this. Your bishop, he ain't gonna say nothing about this. When you up on the choir like this, your bishop looking at you. Am I right, I said? Amen. Listen. And when thou art spoiled. When you are spoiled. What wilt thou do? What will you do? Though thou closest thyself with crimson. The Bible said you close yourself with crimson. Though thou deckest thee with ornaments of gold. What else? Though thou rinnest thy face with painting. Your face have what on it? Thou rinnest thy face with painting. You see it? The Bible says. Though thou rinnest thy face with painting. How do God feel about the way this looks? In vain. In what? In vain. What do they do in vain? Thou shalt make thyself fair. You think you look beautiful, but in God's eyes, your fair look is vanity. Vanity. This is what church has become to. You look on BET, the choirs look like this. Baptist folk. Like this. Non-denominational. Like this. Right. So-called apostolic. Like this. Catholics. Like this. Give me Leviticus 10.10. 10. In Leviticus chapter 10 and verse 10. Listen now what the Bible says. That thou shalt put a difference. What did it say? Leviticus chapter 10 and verse 10. Turn Williams up. Make him louder. Yeah. Leviticus. What is it? Leviticus chapter 10 and verse 10. Leviticus 10, 10. I want all my viewers to get this, get this, get this. Call the ones that hate it and say, look at what that crazy Pastor Jennings got on television now. That's right. You know why some of you upset? Because this look like your mama. This look like your daughter. This look like your wife. This look like your second wife. This look like the pastor wife. And that's why you upset with me. Because we call a spade a spade. This is not the look of a Christian woman. No. Talk to me. Somebody posted a video of the excerpt of the clip of me preaching next to some gospel singer. She was dressed like this. Singing about Jesus. Talking about let's sing praises. A gospel singer dressed like this. And yet you men want to fight me. Women. You know why men cuss me out? Because I'm encouraging you to be modest. Because they want to keep playing with you like a slave master. They want you to look like a hoe. Go ahead. So they can make it rain. They want you to look like this. So they can keep driving and bumping their horn. They want your daughters to look like this. So that old hypocrite can take advantage of your daughter. They want your wife to look like this so they can take advantage of your wife. So that's why they call me nigger. Call me what you want. But we're going to put clothes on our women. Bible said that the women adorn themselves how? In modest apparel. Come here, Sister Bailey. Modest. Come here, Sister Bailey. She's the church photographer. Stand right here. Stand right here. This is modest. Come here, Sister Jennings. Come here quickly, please.
This is modest. Modest as hell. Now, what's wrong with this? What's wrong with it? How in the world you expect for a man to come at church and think about Jesus and you looking like a stripper? Talk to me. Bible says, let the women that women adorn themselves how? in modest apparel. Modest. Modest. Respectable. Presentable. You may be seated. Even some jobs got a dress code. Am I right, I said? So you on the hip hop network, y'all heard y'all making fun of me and said, oh man, uh, he must really got a whole man for him to lash out. Hmm. All that weak talk. You see, your mothers, your daughters, your niece and aunts, they are like this. You women, you send your daughters out with something tight like this. And these old men looking at your 15, 17 year old daughter. How in the world can you criticize what I'm telling you? Listen, even if I'm not in church, this is morally wrong. Morally, it's wrong. That's a very interesting um, video of this pastor talking about and teaching about modesty and covering for women. Of course, when you look at some of the analogy and some of the things he presented to the members in order to teach them to understand what he is trying to say about um, modesty and then um, their dressing, you understand, precisely when it comes to women and all that and piousness you know it was just very plain and a very self-explanatory when he goes to uh, our counterpart that is the muslim we have never seen muslim women dressing like this or exposing themselves to the point that watching them going to place of worship you understand half naked covered but yet naked right because when you ask some of them, they'll tell you that, of course, they are covered. But then in reality, is they are not covered. They are just naked. And this is not, you understand, these kind of things are not supposed to be seen in the place of worship. And not just about the place of worship, but also in our home and our society. For if we do so, it's just that we are promoting insanity in our society. And what is God saying about us? Because in dressing like this, of course, you are going to cause a lot of men to fall. And that's why the Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 5, it says that he that look at a woman lustfully have already committed what fornication with her or commit adultery with her for those who are married. So why do you have to be a tool that will make you to lead men to eternal hellfire and not to paradise as it's supposed to be? Now, he has made us to understand that we have to be modest in our appearances, especially when we are in the place of worship. For because of your action, could lead many to commit what sin. We have seen, in a sense, several um, occasions where because of these women exposing their body leads to molestation and rape and all those things. We are not... Um, saying that men have right to do so but they are supposed to uh, to cover themselves as women and that is when men will tend to respect you right you don't have to walk in a stand half naked and then you expect men to respect you no your value tends to diminish as a woman i am saying this thing and it's all applicable to my sisters it's applicable to my aunties, my nephews, and the rest of it. I am not married yet. So, but then it's also applicable to me when I am married. How am I going to allow my daughters 
to dress and all these things has to begin you understand from me there's a saying that charity begins at home so me as the father how is my wife dressing or how me myself in a sense dressing when it comes to that well men don't really much have um problem when it comes to um covering themselves men always in a sense cover themselves but then all these things women are always the victim of it you know as a woman how do you dress how do you teach your children to dress how do you teach your younger ones to dress how do you teach your nieces to dress this has always in a sense been the question that we should keep on in a sense reflecting on ourselves and if we can be able to do this kind of and then this has find a way of creeping to the church that you could see just like the way the pastor the preacher was saying you could see even the wife of the pastor dressing like the way it was being shown in the manicure what do you think we are trying to teach in? what do we think we are teaching our daughters what do we think we are showing in a sense to the public do we think that this kind of lifestyle will make us to make it to eternity and the bible have already make us to understand that this will lead people to eternal hellfire so why do we have to become a tool that makes people to perish in eternal um, hellfire this is something that we need to work on ourselves seriously we need to ask ourselves all this unnecessary painting that we do this makeup and all that all these things is not gonna help us whereas as we are spending all this money in buying all these jewelry doing that somebody somewhere is there hungry somebody someday just needed to just go to school and be educated imagine that we are channeling some of this energy by helping the less privileged and do a lot i think there will be a lot of blessings in a stand in it and not about us in a stand keep on in a stand with all these um jewelries buying this buying that and then at the end of the day what do we really want to do those for us those look this half naked that does not even glorify god rather is rather destroying souls like why do we have to become the tool as far as in understand you have watched this video or watching my reaction it's been expected of you if you have done it of course there's no problem you have done it but then it's been expected that after watching this is for you to have a change of heart and then to do things for differently not to continue on the ways in which you have been doing it that's not just what we're saying we are saying that there should be a change if you don't know now you know so what are you going to do about it now that you know if you born your own children would you like your children to look like that even if you understand you allow your children to look like that the question is like if god should ask you do you think it's right like morally do you think it's right like that for you to be to be almost naked yes of course some will say they are wearing clothes but of course you know that in understand the clothing is very seductive what are you supposed to do about it my sister my auntie my mothers i'm all asking you all these questions please I am begging us. I am not saying that this alone will take us to um, eternity, but I'm appealing to you. I'm begging you that please let's just have a change of heart. But when we begin to be modest, it will help us to become very devoted to our religion. And whatever you pray to God, so that when you go to the place of worship, even from your deeds, some of the things you do, others can actually even convert to Christianity or to our religion without us having going to preach to anyone just look at it in a sense critically and ask yourself when it comes to this modesty like this muslim woman they tend to cover themselves very well they use the hijab they cover themselves and all that and then we the christians what exactly do we do some of us who says that god look at the inside and not from the outside How can God in the same care about the outside? We are as when you know that is the first impression that people see that they are going to address you. We have to start doing things in a sense differently. Seriously, we have been playing, we have been joking, but it is high time for us to have a change of heart. It's high time for us to desist from some of the things that we do that does not glorify God and start doing things differently. Unless we start doing so, we are just what going to eternity eternal hellfire that's exactly where we are going to but that's not just my prayers for you and i 
is for us to work, to change. I want you to change. I want us to start doing things differently. I want this change to start with us. And if we do so, God is going to bless us. Of course, I know that you have a lot of married couples in a stand in my channel. You can share your experience when it comes to covering and um, being modest, okay? Being modest in your appearances. You can share some of your um, experience and how you have been getting, having encountered with people. That will help some people who are actually um, watching this video or actually in my channel to be able to learn from it. I will pin it in a stand at the comment section for people to learn in a stand about uh, modesty and uh, covering. God will bless you all as you do so. Please share your thoughts and opinion concerning um, this video and God will continue to bless you and your family. Have a blessed week and see you in my next video.